So let's make some ceviche. Now what I have here is I've got some red snapper. It's nice and fresh. This, this, this guy was swimming yesterday. When every time you make ceviche, you want fresh fish and you want to be able to you want to buy it from some place that you trust that has handled it properly. And this was a whole fish. I went ahead and asked him to go ahead and fillet it for me. Uh, and they did that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to dice this up. I don't I don't want to dice it into nothing, I want, but I, I want it because the smaller you dice it, the faster it'll chemically cook. Now it doesn't actually cook, it chemically cooks. The acid from the lime juice is going to attack the, the meat. Anyway, I'm going to continue dicing that up. For my spicy kick, I have some ahi ricotto. And this, these are frozen. I got them here. I wish I could get the fresh ones, but these are what I got. So I'm going to dice a little bit of this up. It doesn't take a whole lot of this to do what we need to do. That'll be enough. Put that to the side. Now after you play with these, you want to be sure to wash your hands real good with soap and water to get that oil off of there. Dice these up real small. We'll add this to the fish. Okay, we have a purple onion here. Now we're going to want some nice, long, thin slices. So you need a really sharp knife. We're going to cut the ends off of this. We're going to cut it in half. Now I'm going to want some long, thin slices and a little bit of, of dice. My nice, long, thin slices. Get these right out of the middle. The thinner I can cut these, the better. I don't really want that center part. Tell you what, let's go ahead, the center part, I'm going to go ahead and cut it out. We'll use that in our dice. And then we'll cut the nice and thin. So this is going to be like our garnish that goes on the top. Now the dice, this is actually what's going to go in with the ceviche while it cooks. Okay, we're going to need a little bit of garlic, and I want some fresh ginger in there. It's not a whole lot of ginger, just a little bit. Yeah, that would be enough. A little bit of salt. Like sea salt or kosher, kosher salt. And then we're going to take we're going to squeeze some limes in here. We want the juice of the lime. Now you don't want to wring the limes out. You want the easy juice to get out. The stuff that you have to really squeeze hard for, that's a little bit bitter, and we don't want that. Okay, so I wound up. I got about a, th a cup and a third. Of, of the fish. And this is, the, like I said, it's red snapper. I've got some of the purple onion. I've got some of the ricotto chili in there. I squeezed out the juice of two and a half limes in here. You can put a little more or less if you want. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover this with plastic and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator for a couple hours. And every once in a while I'm going to come by and stir that. Probably about once an hour. Okay, there's a couple more ingredients that go in this. We've got some white corn, just a big Peruvian style white corn. Uh, I'm not sure exactly where this comes from. Is it a product of USA? Uh, I'm not sure. Anyway, there's a big corn. 
and I'm going to need a couple of slices of sweet potato. I've just taken sliced the sweet potato, peeled it, and now I'm going to throw it in some, before I do that, put a little salt in my water. And we're just going to throw them in here, and then we're just going to boil these until they just get done. It should only take a couple minutes. Okay, let's assemble our ceviche. It's been a couple hours. It's all marinated. I'm not going to use all of this. This is really about two, two portion si sizes. Side. Sweet potatoes on there. Popcorn. I'm going to put a couple of limes on here just in case somebody wants to squeeze a little bit of lime on it. A little bit of cilantro just for garnish. And we're going to take some onions. And then we'll serve it just like that.